hello again and welcome to Mia's Cuisine today I'm going to be preparing ekwang ekwang is one of Cameroonian's delicacy and um, we prepare it by using cocoa yams this is the cocoa yams we use we use there are different types but this is the one that is used for the ekwang so this is the unpeeled cocoa yams so you peel it and this is the peeled cocoa yams this is what it looks like unpeel you peel you wash and grate using a grater after washing you grate be careful not to chop off your fingers <laughs> After the grading process is all done, this is my cocoa yams. So it's kind of too thick, so I'm gonna put half a cup of water, half teaspoon of salt, and mix. After mixing, this is what it should look like. This is what your cocoa yam should look like. Okay, so now let's go to the next process. We use leaves. Back home, we usually use what is called cocoa leaf to tie the equan. But let's face it, this is not America. If you can find cocoa yams, good for you. But I cannot, so I use anything that can that I can use to fold the cocoa yams into. So I use Asian leaves. I don't know, they are all vegetable. When it's cooked, you don't even know which is which. So this is what I use. Anything I can find in the supermarket, that's what I use. So I'm gonna cut it, remove it from the stem, wash it, then I will use to tie the cocoa yams. I will show you in a little while. This is the leaf. I cut it from the stem, so. This is what I'm gonna be using to tie the ekwang. This is also my cocoa yam. I also have here smoked fish, red meat, and some tripe with crayfish and ngakanga. This is what it looks like. Then when you blend it, this is what I'll be putting in the ekwang. It's called ngakanga. Some maggi cubes and salt so let's begin the time process first i'll put a little bit of oil to the pot and mix make sure it's all over the pot You get the picture. So I'm halfway into the tying process. I'm going to put some of my compartment. So I'll put in some crayfish. So 
some small fish and meat. Some gakanga. Half teaspoon of salt. And a cube of maggi. This will make the stirring process easier and I continue time. I'm halfway through, so I'll now put the rest of my meat and smoke fish, my crayfish. Some gakanga. <coughs> and a cube of maggi. I do this in order to even out the, the process because it will be difficult to mix if everything is on top. Complete the process. So I'm all done with the time process. So this is my egg one. This is what it looks like. So I'll now put in the rest of the spices. And let's get cooking. Put the pot in the fire. Low heat. Put in some palm oil. Just a little and warm water, maybe two cups of warm water. And cook for about 30 minutes low heat. It's almost 15 minutes into the cooking process, so you try as much as possible not to stir. Stir from the corners until the equan is well cooked to prevent it from scattering. Although, so you let it cook again for another 15 minutes, low heat to prevent it from burning. You can stir more to taste. Make sure there's enough salt, maggi, and enough water. from underneath our pot. Our egg one is all ready and it's time for consumption. Like I said before, this is the greatest food of all time. You can disagree with me, but this is my favorite. Enjoy. I show good. Thank you.